Hi there, this is Alan, and this is going to be a relatively brief introduction to the Hobby King Biaxial Vector Rotating System. I think that's a short enough thing. Uh, it's been out of stock on Hobby King for quite a long time, and I've been wanting to get one in, and uh, they finally become available in stock. Um, hopefully they'll keep them in stock this time. Uh, they're a nice little unit. Uh, the photo on the photos actually on the page uh, on Hobby King's website are accurate. Uh, just so you know, it does come in this nice little box and it has all the parts. Now, one thing I do want to mention on this is when you do get these. Um, I have found that in shipping some of the screws come loose so make sure you open the box on a good surface where you can actually keep track of anything that falls out of it. Specifically the ones that are that seem to be falling out the most are the screws here uh, which are the adjusters for the, uh, the rods. So just be careful of that. Now, here's the really, really good news. Hobby King is not famous for shipping products with manuals. Guess what? One little thing that's different between what came and what is shown on the website is in the bottom of the box, if you lift it up, see that little piece of paper there? That's called a manual. And it's actually, let's see if I can get this, eh, not very well, uh, but it's actually very good. It's um, probably too close for focus. There we go. Um, but it is four pages, full color, in English. And they're very detailed little photos. Um, that's page one. I'm trying to get this relatively close for you. Uh, I may take photos of this uh, tomorrow with better lighting to uh, give you a clue as to what's actually on each page ahead of time. I know. Uh, most people are like I am and they like to read the manual before they buy the product and hope like hell that the product matches the manual. Uh, in this case it does and I'm, I'm very very pleased. The, um, the unit is, let me get one of these out of here. I bought four of them by the way. Um, I always tend to buy extras and I also buy extras for beyond that because Hobby King's not noted for shipping products that work all the time. In this particular case, they did. All four uh, boxes are the same, uh, and they're very consistent. The product is actually con extremely consistent between all the boxes. Now. Uh, I did find one, it, it happens to be this one, that in one of one of the motions here, it's a little tight on the uh, on the very last little bit of the motion in one axis. The other axis, the other axis is pretty good. Um, construction on these is just beautiful. Um, I'm very, very pleased with uh, what I'm seeing so far as, as that is concerned. Um, I'm actually going to try something here real quick. I haven't played with these much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Okay. So, um, this thing is, uh, like I said, very well made. It is, um, let's see, let me look at all the pictures. Yeah, the pictures are very representative of everything you get. 
the good views. Um, one thing I did find on this, which I really like, is it's a little hard to get to, but if you do have to take one of these apart, there is a small hole right there on both sides. And you stick a screwdriver in there and unscrew it, and you can probably get in there um, without too much difficulty. Uh, very small screws, just be careful of that. Um, now, if you do get one like I did, that's uh, I'm gonna play with play while I'm talking here. Uh, if you do get one uh, like this one, where it's a little bit uh, wonky, you know, or stiff in the one axis. What I would suggest. Oh yeah, that that unscrews beautifully. Okay. Um, actually, that might be unscrewed a little bit too easily because that was very easy to unscrew. So you might um, consider doing something about that. Uh, is to take it before you mount it on the model. And this is the best way to do this. Before you mount it on the model, or where, wherever you're going to use it. Uh, in my particular case, I'm not using these for thrust vectoring. Um, I'm using them for a totally off-the-wall project. And if you want to know more about what I'm doing, don't ask me. Uh, subscribe to uh, Synergy Hub's uh, YouTube channel, and eventually you'll see. Um, but uh, it's going to be an interesting little project. But what I typically do, and anything like this has got a binding, I'll just watch TV for a while, and I'll just sit there and twiddle with it. Uh, and basically wear it in before you put it on whatever you're going to use it on. Uh, there's no sense in mounting one of these and then exercising it with the servos. You know, servos have uh, limited lifespans anyway. Whereas your fingers, well, yeah, they're limited lifespan too, but not quite as short as a as a servo. So just stand and work it, um, and it'll wear in, which is what you really want it to do. Um, and that's a really about the most I can say on this right at the moment. Um, other than I'm just tickled pink, this is really really good. Um, like I say, uh, tomorrow I will try to get you some good photos of the manual to put on the website. And um, I'm also going to, you know, of course, load up this video on my on the Synergy Hub YouTube site and also uh, link it on to the uh, Hobby King. So that's it for now. And um, order them while they're in stock. Let's see, I'm online right now. Let's take a peek at what it thinks it has. It says 10 plus. That's a good sign. Um, and the stock bar is pretty high. Of course, it's international stock only. So I would grab these suckers. Uh, for $15, let me tell you, I think it's a damn good buy. Take care.